Good morning. Here enjoying my first cup of coffee, which I love. There's my duck, my Otis, which I love. My chickens in the background, which I love. Got my old dog next to me, which I love. Notice the thing here. You know, we tell people all the time, I love you. Parents love their kids. You know, relatives love each other. Friends love each other. Neighbors love each other. We love coffee. We love the beach. Going to the pool, church. Some of us love God. Speaking of which, have you ever thought about the greatest love? I mean the real, true, greatest love of all times. That's right. Talking about the Heavenly Father. He loves you unconditionally. Say this morning, take me for instance. I got no makeup on. My hair looks a little bit rough. I got one eye looking weird. God loves me just the same. He loves you just as you are. He will accept you just as you are. Yes, he will. Jesus loves us so much that he sent, I mean God, I'm sorry, God loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us, take all of our sins, so we wouldn't have to bear them. So we could repent and give our sins to the Lord and go to heaven. God loves us so much that the rain we get, that's our drinking water. The sunshine that we get, that is to help our grass grow, our vegetables grow, so we can eat. You know, we got cows, they gotta eat the grass to produce milk, to grow so we can, unfortunately, slaughter them and have hamburger, meat. Without rain and sunshine, that grass ain't gonna grow. God loves us enough to provide for us, to heal us when we're sick. Just like me, for instance. It has been over two months since I used breathing treatments, inhalers. Yeah, I still have it because I paid for it. Do I use it? No, I don't need to. God healed me. He gave me my lungs back. So, you know, if you ever think that, you know, if you're going through something hard and you think nobody loves you, God Almighty loves you more than anybody else. It is so wonderful to have him in my life. Won't you make him a part of yours too? Peace out. Hope this blesses somebody. I'm off to finish my coffee. Set my duck free. Yep, you hear Otis? Tell me good morning. So, uh, think about it. Think about the greatest love of all. Now, I know you love your husband. If you're married, you're, you love your wife. They're there for you. But God is there for you when nobody else is. When you think you're all alone, you've got nobody, you always have God. You can't see him. You know, he's like the wind, like the air. You can't see the air, but you need him. That's right, you need the air. It's there. So is God. I hope this gives somebody something to think about. Please invite him into your life. Please take him as your Savior before it's too late. As ask, you know, ask you to do this in the Lord's name. I guess I just said a prayer for you. <laughs> so I hope this blesses somebody. Peace out.